The iHeart Market is a curated collection of KZN's thriving maker community. It takes place on the first Saturday of every month and a couple more times during December. It showcases local designers and local foodies. I chat to the market director, Anna Savage, to find out a little bit more. I'm sitting here with Anna Savage, who's the director of the iHeart Market. Thank you so much for joining us here on Local TV. We've taken a little walk through the market. It looks incredible. There's lots of beautiful local and community driven small businesses here. This started 15 years ago. How did it all begin and what inspired you to create the iHeart Market? At the time, 15 years ago, there wasn't a lot of people that were showcasing locally made products. I just realized that there was such an amazing creative scene happening in KZN and I really wanted to provide a platform to be able to showcase those works. We started with 12 stalls on the street in Windermere Road and from then it just grew. We had amazing success from the beginning and we realized there was such a scope for this kind of thing. And as we grew, we had more and more potential traders approach us and say, I've always wanted to do something like this, but there's never been an opportunity for me to be able to sell my product. And now that I see that there's a place like this, I want to start making these things. So it was quite inspiring for the traders as well as, as us. So looking back, 15 years ago to what we see the market is today. Yeah. What has changed? The market's just grown exponentially over those 15 years. We've recently moved to Belito, to Sugar Rush Park, which is an amazing venue. So it's got such amazing stuff for families to do, activities, there's park run, there's mountain biking. Like it really is perfect for us. There's loads of kiddies activities, nice big rolling lawns. What kind of local crafts can one expect? Clothing, ladies wear, men's wear, kids wear, local silver jewellery, so silversmiths that are actually making the jewellery. Nothing's mass manufactured, nothing's factory produced, nothing's imported. We've got deli goods, so like brownies, cupcakes, those kind of things, decor products natural skin care products, so much more. A whole can't range name of products of on offer, yes. yeah. So for someone who hasn't heard of the iHeart Market or has never attended, what can they expect when they come here? Expect to find a range of really creative, interesting products. We kind of wanted to do something that was the anti-mall, so it's not what you'd see at the mall. The nice thing about it is also that you get to meet the person who's actually made the products or designed the products. They tell you about their inspiration, how they make it, Maybe if you want to have, have something slightly altered or different, they can always help you with that. And then the nice thing about that is, is that you get a sense of like who you're actually supporting when you're spending your money with local vendors. Exactly. Talking about local vendors, if someone wants to become a part of the iHeart family, what is the process they have to go through? It's an online application form. They can go to www.iheartmarket.com. We are quite selective in what we take on. It mustn't be mass manufactured, not imported. We curate the market. So we select products that aren't too similar to what we already have, but really looking for something different and interesting and fresh and new. When and where does the iHeart market happen and how can people come and visit and shop? It takes place on the first Saturday of every month. In December we have three markets for the Christmas season, but other than that you'll always find us here at Sugar Rush Park, first Saturday of every month. Come and join us. We at Local like to celebrate the talent within our community. We hope we've inspired you to shop and support Local. Thanks for watching Local TV, connecting you.